Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we are going to be tackling a Rose Detective Agency book nook. Uh, I kind of saw this one and actually looked kind of cool because I had some different uh, elements and it just looked a little different than some of the other ones that uh, I've already done or seen. And uh, once you see all the boards that it came with, it's uh, definitely going to be a daunting task. So um, start with over here. And uh, from just looking at all the boards, I mean, this definitely, I know this is going to be uh, the one model that's going to have the most pieces that I've ever used to put it together. And uh, usually, I think all the other ones had a lot of book pieces that you had to use and everything like that. But this one, there really isn't a lot of books to put together, as you see. Some of them are just kind of already painted on the uh, on the walls and everything. But um, you know, in some of the pictures and stuff, it's that little rough edge and everything, but uh, still look kind of cool. I still have the outlines, if you can see, little outlines of where things are going to be going and everything. Uh, but yeah, so here's all your books. It's just these three right here. So not too many books, which is kind of a good thing. Uh, but definitely uh, tons of pieces. So should be interesting in, uh, putting everything together. Of course, the instruction booklet, same as kind of all the other ones. Just kind of start from one, work your way down. Kind of look through it doesn't look too bad here's the sh the uh sticker sheet which i i appreciate um especially for the books you know they're stickers so they'll just stick on you don't have to glue nothing on or anything like that but i think there's one part this piece right here i think uh, you won't actually peel it off i think you'll just cut it because you gotta try uh you know fold back and forth like an accordion so I think that'd be like the only part that you're not going to be peeling off. But the rest of them are going to be stickers, so it'll be kind of nice. It comes with a couple, you know, your sandpaper, little teacup, metal teacup, some tweezers. Here's the uh, electrical part. And this is actually a touch pad light where you touch the front of the book nook and the light will come on so there's no switches, which I appreciate that as well. And then it comes with like a little mirror, a little translucent piece. And then this is the first one also that actually has a dust cover that came with it. I kind of heard about the dust covers and I thought it was something to cover the whole book nook. But this is something, a uh, plastic piece that'll slide down the front to protect everything inside of it from getting dirty, you know, dusty and all that other stuff. So, so this is the first one I've ever used with the dust cover, but that's everything that came with it. I mean, not, Actually, not too much, but again, a lot of pieces. So this actually may take a little longer, but may not actually be too bad either. So, uh, but we'll see. But again, three of these are just the sides, so that you're going to be put into. So it's not, you know, it doesn't actually be too bad, but it's still a lot of boards. So, but I mean, we'll see how it goes. And of course, my troublemaker, as always. Of course, I'm not doing nothing. That's why she's not bothering me. So. Um, but as always, uh, if you like what I'm doing, please like, share, subscribe, leave comments, hit the notification bell, and uh, you know I'll definitely get back with you. So with that, we'll get started. So we are going to get started with uh, our detective agency book nook. So got all the pieces out, and it doesn't look like we're going to be gluing too much, but uh, the, the, the floor as it is, if you can see in the light, there's little outlines of where the pieces are going to be going, and all the other pieces are like that, where it'll have some type of outline or something to show you exactly where it's going to be placed. So, we will get started. So, first thing is we have L3s right here. And these 
Legs are going to be up. Definitely tight. Okay, just kind of push it down kind of gently, make sure you don't break anything as it's going in. And then this one is down here. And if you need to sand some off of the tab to get it to go in a little easier, uh, that's totally fine. I have done that a few times. <sighs> Sometimes that is the only way to get the tab to go in is to actually, uh, you know, sand it down just a little, but you just got to be careful not to do too much and because then it won't go in at all. <laughs> so, okay. So now we are going to be gluing our sidewalk which kind of like all the uh, patterns they have every, on everything. It's definitely uh, durable and everything. So, so this will be going kind of like right on there. And it's definitely hard to see where it's going to go, but you'll see the little outline of the trim piece right here. So as long as you got it lined up with that, and uh, you should be good to go. So, I'm going to be using my clear gel tacky glue. It's been sitting for a little bit, but I think it'll still be fine. Not too much, because this will hold pretty well, but just going around, just hitting where I can. I don't want to get too close to the edges either, because then it'll leak out and everything. So... Gonna throw this on here, kind of move it up right to the edge as best I can that I can see. So now I want you to glue like your little edge for it to go right there. So, I'm going to, that's why I really wish I had a, a tip on this, a little bit better tip than what's here, because I just don't want to spread too much around, but you don't need a lot, I mean, it's going to, it's going to hold pretty well. So... I'm just going to get this and I'm just going to push it in. That way it'll push all the glue right into it. I'll just push down a little bit, but not too bad. So, And then, kind of the same thing on this side is we're going to be putting this right here and then gluing the edge on the outside of it. And again, it's hard to see the lines, but as long as you get it right up to it, you can turn it to see the light hitting it. Make sure it's flush. Right there, it needs to kind of like that. And then just throw a little bit of glue on the edge here. And then use this. Kind of do the same. it all the way in just make sure it's flush make sure you don't see any lines on the outside or on this side and give it a little press and there we go 
Okay, I think everything is good. If it isn't, I can't really change it now. So, I'll get this down onto this. I want you to put this down here. And you have to put these in first because this is going to go over top of it. But you got to be careful to make sure that you don't uh, move it around if it's not dry yet. Like so. And it didn't move or nothing, so I think I'm still good. So I'm going to wait a little bit because this next step is me actually messing with this right here and I don't want to touch it yet. So, so you can either install this after this dries or install it and then just wait a little bit. So I'm going to give this a few minutes and then uh, I may get some other pieces ready and all that. Okay, so I went ahead and got all of our other pieces out for the next couple steps and hopefully this is all dry by now. So, okay. So this next step, this little piece here, it doesn't, it's not too tight or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it, but I'm just going to glue it on the step or on this piece here. I'm not going to glue it on the bottom because that way, if, um, if I need to move it around or anything, then it'll just be, uh, you know, stuck to the step and not to the, to the bottom down here where it'll be harder for it to move around. So I'm just going to put it into here, just make it flush. Try to make it as flush as possible with this. And while that's drying, then I'm going to go ahead, because this is supposed to slide down into that. So this is going to be a lot of, a lot of gluing real quick for this. And I'm going to throw in a little bit into here. And there we go. Just not for sure how this is going to go in. Because I'm pretty sure oh, this ties into the back back here. And then slides down to hold it in. So you just gotta have to try to uh, just try to take out this glue that's showing. But just trying to make sure that's in there level, and then make sure it's level with the that bottom piece I mean I guess I could have uh, glued it to that too but hmm, why not So not too much. If it bleeds out, I'll just use some toothpicks or something to to wipe off the excess and everything. So no big deal. And then the same, where it just locks into the back like that, and then straight down. And a little bit of glue showing, not too bad though. Okay. So now, you're going to grab your F1 piece with the rug. Luckily, you don't have to, it's not a sticker. <laughs> Good thing for that. And it looks like it's going to go kind of 
right here and down on this piece right there these two pieces right here these two pieces right here are going to go here and here and that's pretty much the only thing holding it in there's really nothing else so let me just throw a little bit of glue Sides right here. And I'm gonna kind of guess. Yep. These other ones are lower, so I'm just gonna throw some glue on the tops. Because that's where the floor is gonna be sitting on. I do not want it going anywhere. So, and just a little bit around the edges. And I'm being messy right now, but. I don't care. Okay, so. There we go. Okay. And just push it down and it should stay. Okay. So I got like your second floor. Basement and second floor here. Okay. So now, now the fun part is we get to uh, fill all these right here in, which kind of looks cool, but very small pieces. So you're going to kind of have to kind of match here what pieces go where. And I'd probably match them first, or at least put them kind of next to it. Of course, get all the kitty hair off first. Before you glue, I'd uh, just match them, and that way you're next to it. Because there's these five little pieces right here. Where does this one go? And there's only one way for these to go because they have the... Okay, it shows this one going here. There's no uh, outline, it's just like a square. But that's where... It's like that one's where that one's supposed to show, so... I'll... I'll do all these other ones and see if that is correct or not. Yeah, that's that one. And then this is this one. Yeah, okay. And then we have our gun. Uh, and they did a really good job with, uh, they only, there's only like one little tab holding it in and everything so it's uh, very easy to punch it out so yeah so it's like that and then this one is like that and then there's a lantern. Oh, well, I guess we'll uh, we'll save these last two pieces uh, after we glue all this down because this is going to take a little bit. Uh, so, so if you want, you can always just just put a dab on each spot because that's really all you need don't need a lot just go through and just put a, a little dab on each spot and then just place each one because this is it'll take a little bit for it to dry you know and then you may have some strings I 
I said, I'm just pulling up on it because it's not, I don't want to leave too many strings or anything. Okay. And then just start placing your pieces right on top of it. Get it in this position. Make sure the lines are covered. The black lines anyway. Or at least make sure it, uh, it's matching the outline. The white outline. Everything. I don't know why the outline didn't get for this, but that's just what it's showing. So I'm just going to kind of somewhat putting it in the line. The black line doesn't match it at all, so I think it might have been an error <laughs> or something. And the last one here. Okay. And if it's not perfect, then so be it. I'm not worried about it. Okay, so looks like it turns yeah like that. So this piece, they wanted you to glue this little extra piece on the side of it, which I already did. So, so this is gonna go in this hole here. Kind of like right there. And then there's a lantern that's going to go right next to it in the hole right there. So just like before. Well, actually, what I think I'll do instead of putting glue in the hole, I'm just going to just glue the piece itself. That way I know glue will be going on where I'm putting it on. Uh, just as long as it's facing as long as it's facing the front of it's facing kind of this way is what it looks like yeah it's all good and then And then the same for the lantern. Just have it facing forward. Because you're going to be looking at the book nook from this way. So you can just see, kind of make sure everything's facing this way. So, all right. So, it's kind of a good uh, starting spot. So, not too bad. I mean, it's getting there. It's... I'll show you here in a second here what it looks like. So, kind of got all the pieces here, got everything facing forward. Stairs are glued somewhat. Whether they're straight, not for sure, <laughs> but um, but they're holding. That's the main point. So it looks like we're going to be putting in the stairs. So this piece, I went ahead and glued on. You have your A39 right here, and then A41, they wanted you to glue on top of it. And this has a little line going all the way down that you can match it to to make sure you're right on it. But then you can also just make sure that the steps are flush, you know, all the way up and everything. So, uh, and I just went ahead and did it, just not have to wait for it to dry. I mean, it doesn't take too long, but still. I don't want to have to wait. And I uh, got all the pieces out and everything. So, and it doesn't really show you, I mean, it kind of shows you exactly where it, where it goes, but it's going to be these two spots right here, right on the other side of the rug is where it's going to go. They're going to just slide into that right there. So, 
I'm going to go ahead and throw some glue into that. And just throw a couple little spots right there because that's where it's going to go. put the steps together so I already did some um, and I'm not I'm not really gluing them because they're not really gonna go anywhere but I'll just show you these last couple of uh, what I did you just have find the one hole make sure that the uh, you know coming towards you and you just put it in like that and you just do the next one and just slides it right on down and all of these six are the same, A31. A and then the uh, the top step and the bottom are two different. So A21, it's got the two holes. Gonna make sure those are facing in. Put that one down. Huh. And another way, you'll see like a small little square a small little square right here below the hole and there's a square on the bottom a square on the bottom of the steps to make sure it matches and up here there's a circle and there's a circle right there underneath that hole just so you know what goes where and again I'm not gluing <clears throat> they're not going anywhere Okay, and then what are you doing with them? So you're putting these, this into the hole right here, and these are all lining up like so. So, you're just going to put in this one into the hole here and that one into the hole up there. And I don't think I'm going to glue it. I'm just going to, like I said, it's not going to go anywhere. So, it's just being a pain in the butt right now. Oh man, this is hard to get a grip on as you can hear <laughs> and then you just gotta line up the hole and then it should pop right in and same for this one line up the hole Oops. and then pop it in and it should line up all the other ones if it don't just kind of push them down and if you want to put glue on the ends here um, that's fine. I mean, it's not going to hurt nothing if you do or if you don't. You're not going to really see it. It's going to be something in the back. So, so it's up to you on whether or not you do it or not. But just make sure that this is down all the way <clears throat> as far as it'll go. Okay. I'm just making sure. Make sure that one's in. Make sure that one's in. Okay, so it should look somewhat like that. Okay, so now the fun part is we're going to install the railing. So when you take this out of the board, just be careful. It's only got like a tab right here, one at the top, and then one right here that's holding it in. But it's, it's easy to, to break one of these spindles if you're not too careful. So the only place uh, you're only attaching it in two spots at the top and the bottom and that's it. So, and I think I will actually put some glue into that cause it's really not too much holding it in. So I'm just gonna, not too much. 
And I know the bottom just kind of slides in, but I'm just making sure that goes in as well. And you may need to throw something on top for a weight because it is not wanting to stay. You're not really going to see it. Okay, let's see what that is in the morning. Again, you're not messing with the... Not messing with anything too much, but you just gotta throw some weight down on this to get it to stay. And then while that's drying for a little bit, then uh, you're wanting to put this together and you just glue this onto the pedestal just slide it down the hole and then uh, the flower there's like another little piece that you glue on the front that I already did and then these two just slide into the two holes that are right there just put some glue into there and just slid them right down so it was a piece of cake not too difficult and then This goes right into the side, right here. I guess you should put that in first before you uh, weigh this down. Hmm. Okay. So there you go. Get your stairs in and everything, so we'll, we'll let that dry and see what happens. We've got our next pieces out and uh, putting those scissors on the banister definitely uh, helped it. it. It stuck down and everything, so that's just something you may have to look for later on and everything. So I'm just going to throw that up to the side for now. Now we got our next pieces we're going to be messing with. Most of these are just going to be kind of laid down. Everything, so... So first, we're getting our shell, our little ledges we're going to be putting in right there. Goes in Okay, so we got our shelf. If you want to try to level it, just make sure it's straight. I don't think nothing's going to be sitting on it or anything like that. So then you got your other two pieces that are going to go on here. Just follow the same thing. Just make sure the white part's on the top.
Okay, and then the other side. Okay, so now these next pieces are just going to be laid on top and everything. Got a couple window cells or overlays and our address 210B that we're going to be putting on top of the door here. So just make sure it's flush with the bottom of the door frame and just make sure it's even You want to use something flat to put on there just to make sure it's good and that's fine these are going to go on top of the shelves here so i'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of the one to see or one to the frames doesn't need it a lot Try not to scoot it too much because it's uh, will get seen. So there we go. Just gonna push it on down. I'm just looking to see. You can see the. See the lines for the windowsill or frame. So uh, okay. I'll just do the same. just like that okay so while that's drying we've got our next little pieces here and what they're wanting you to do is put the Okay, so go until I can't go no more. It should be down at the bottom. And this will go on top of it. And then it'll be just be in a little bit right there. So it's hard to push through. 
Oh, okay, I stand corrected. Just this one over here is hard to push through. Okay, and then you want to, oops, what am I forgetting? Okay. Uh, okay, you want the black part on the right side. We're gonna, all the way flush. Okay, now I gotta push all these into the holes. Well, the second one definitely going in a lot easier. Okay. Okay, push it in there a little bit. Okay, so so it should look something like that. I don't know why they didn't put black on the other side of that, but. Um, okay, then hopefully these are kind of good to go, and then these are going to be popping in right there. So, what I'm going to do is I will probably throw some glue because it shows it has a line here of where they want you to put it, but you don't really have a choice because it's going to go into the holes. And everything so I'm probably gonna throw some glue along the edges besides the holes I mean, I'll throw some in the holes too but I'll throw some in here just to, just to hold it as well not worry about anything else I throw some up there too. Okay. It should go, go in pretty easy because it's not that big of a tab uh, to go in and everything. So, but you may have to. Uh, Hold this, which you got some clips. I'm not gonna try to press it too hard, but may have to put something on the top here to hold it to press it in. Okay, looks like it's in there good. So now they want you to. What you push? I was pushing on the sign. That's done. Yep, yeah, okay. Just slide it all the way down. Just like that. Okay, I don't like that the. Uh... Why is that not? Oh, there we go. Okay. It says to slide down all the way to the bottom. So uh, I saw the steps and the handrails weren't going all the way down. So I was like, what the? So you, you got to push it till it doesn't go anymore. So, so that's what it should look like on the front, kind of looking in and on the inside and everything. So got a few pieces out for our next three or four steps. So we'll just get going on what we need. So I have this, and we're gonna be putting this in here. Not really gonna glue it or anything, because I don't think it needs to.
I don't think there's a way to reverse this, so you're not really going to see it anyway where it's going to go. Because put the same color and everything. And then this goes. And this with the hole more to the back. flower which also has a little second piece that I, I had already glued on top of it and that'll go in here which try not to push on the other piece which I don't think I need to glue that because it definitely isn't gonna move and then then we have our front and back pieces you want to make sure the front piece is gonna have the pegs or the tabs on it and the back piece isn't because this is going to go into some holes on the uh, the main part. So just have to kind of get it started. You have to angle it in to get it to fit into the holes. Edges there a little bit. Sometimes they may or may not go in. They kill your fingers, that's for sure. So that was the front. And do the same for the back. Like I said, you just may have to kind of push in the tabs on the inside to get it to fit. Yeah, you definitely are not going to need any glue. <laughs> This definitely isn't going to go anywhere. So, so there's that one. And then the next one, let's see here. It's pretty much the same process. It's just a little wider. <laughs> okay, so get our square piece in here. Oh, no, see? So what happens, every time I sneeze, somebody assumes that means they come for pet. No, I didn't say for you to come to get petting. I know. So any type of noise she feels, that that means that she comes to get petting. Okay. Let's see how these are going in and then uh, uh, there we go that might be the best way to get this top piece on is to turn it over and just push it down because it ain't going any other way and then put your flower on and the same thing had a little secondary piece that I uh, just went ahead and just put on and Okay. I know. Yes. So, 
Okay. Yeah, it's as far down as it's going to go. Okay, so same thing with the other one. The front piece is going to have the tabs on it. The back piece is not. So just do the exact same thing. And I'm just kind of putting the one in, edges in first. And then just kind of getting it on there before I push it in. Allergies. Oh, uh, that been out. So you have to be careful. Yes, I know. You like to get on camera. Yes. Here, get going. So you have to be careful with this middle piece because when I pushed it in, it actually pushed it out. So I actually had to push it back down uh, to get it to, to fit, which now that I'm looking at this other one, the first one I did, it did the same thing. This middle piece is sticking out just a little, so i got to uh, push that back down because there's really nothing holding it to keep it. Yep, and the same thing back here too. You just want to make sure it doesn't uh, pop off or get bent too bad uh, where you can't use it or anything, so... Like the back piece goes on a little easier than the front, and then push this middle piece down, and push that middle piece down. Okay, so now we've got our two pieces here done. So now these are going to go into the holes right here. Let's see if it's uh, yeah, just pushing down on the back, and this is hard. So there's really nothing to... Well, you can push on the flower part or somebody's butt. Okay. So, so I got that one in. What did I do the other one? No, I didn't say to lay down. I'll get you petting here in a second. And then you just gotta... Get it into the hole. And push down on the front as best as you can. Because again, it's... If you want to add some glue, you can. But again... <laughs> oh, you want me to get some petting on camera? Okay. Get some petting on camera. Yep. Mm-hmm. Get some petting on camera. Uh-huh. So you don't want me to work in. That's what it is, isn't it? So you just don't want me working. Here. Oh, come here. Oh. Stay over there. Okay. So now we got... I got Rosie out of the way. Okay, so that's what it looks like with them on there. And I didn't put glue on it because, I mean, they're not going anywhere. So you can put glue if you want. i got to push that one down a little bit more. If I can. Okay. So, but that's kind of what it looks like with these two on here. Okay. So now, get these up. So now it looks like we're going to work on the mailbox. So, you got this piece, and then you got... Uh, like that, and then this. Just line it up. Why is it stuck? Why is it stuck? Here, come on. Just gotta, yeah, get the pieces down and. Okay, so I just pushed those in. Like I said, it kind of looks like it kind of goes, but maybe not. And somebody keeps getting in the way. Okay, so now... Eat 
there up. Okay, so now for the mailbox part, you're going to have three pieces with two tabs each, and then you're going to have one that's just a box on the bottom. So you're going to get the three with the two tabs and push these down on the ah, on the tab right here on this ledge. Yes, okay. And then just one in front of the other. You may have to hold the little tab that's sticking out right here instead of the bottom just to make sure nothing breaks. And then with the box tab, then you just put that on there and just push it in. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to use our first sticker. Ah, allergies. So in your sticker sheet, it's number 18. Yep. So just got to peel that off. And just start on the edge right here. Just try to get it as even and at the bottom as you can. Okay, we're going to try this again. My allergies are kicking up again. There we go. So it's actually evens, it evens itself out pretty good so all right that looks a little better so you get your mailbox okay so we'll set that aside for now now we're going to be working on a bench and using another sticker okay so you have 13 g 13 and 14 <sighs> key here you had g 13 and 14 so 14 is the three prong the three board piece and that will go into the holes here. And then on your two board piece, the top, you want to be, you want to have it where the top width is smaller than the bottom board. If you look at it, this one you can tell is way, way thinner than the board in the front. So you want the thinner to be in the back. And they split it this way just so you can uh, kind of, you know, the board wouldn't be perfectly straight. You could angle it, you know, kind of like a, a hump, you know, when you sit on benches and stuff. And then you just pop them in to so this one over here. Again, I'm not using glue because they're going to be held down pretty good. Oh, should I have? Oh, no, okay, I'm good. Okay, so now on this piece... Which is odd that it has an outline of the sticker that they want you to put on here, which is seven. Yeah. So, so you can put this on here. Okay. So now I'm not for sure if they want you to, uh... nope, okay, so you just leave it. I didn't know if they wanted you to actually like cut through the holes and everything, but it looks like they just want you to uh, leave it as it is. So, and you can fold the edge over if you want. Just so it's sticking in there. I guess it could represent, uh, you know, paper just kind of getting stuck to the bench or whatever. And then here, you're just going to pop this in on the back, which it looks like it may come up. So I may glue that in. I don't know. We'll see. Or I may just trim it off. Okay, that one. Or I may just leave it. You know, if it doesn't sit down, then so be it. Okay. So there's our bench, got our mailbox, so now the mailbox will go right here.
which that doesn't look too uh, like it's going to stay too well. So I'm going to throw some glue in it just to, and then yeah, the mailbox is supposed to be facing toward the stairs. And just kind of turn it a little. There we go. Okay. And then the the uh, the seat will go right here that I'm going to go ahead and glue that to as well. And then we're just going to pop this in in the back. Hopefully. Okay, and then just the back legs have the tab. The front ones are just going to sit there. So there you go. And actually, we'll just leave that. And if it bends over, uh, if it comes up, then I'll just leave it as it is. So, but so there's your uh, your little uh, plant bases on either side. You got your mailbox. You got your bench. So I'm actually enjoying this one. This has definitely got tons of pieces and everything. So. Looks like we're going to be building a little suitcase full of little knickknacks and stuff. Mm. And everything. And actually, I'm going to be putting up the crime scene tape, which actually looks kind of cool. So, Okay, so we get your F12. which has the longer holes or grooves going through. And you want to flip it around to where it's the unfinished side. And then you got your little hinges and you want to make sure it's the longer pieces that you're putting in here. Cause there's a long edge and there's a long edge and then a short side or long side and the short side. So you want to make sure you're using the long side and I'm about to get another visitor. To come visit again. Okay. Then get the other one. And just make sure they're flush. Somebody's out of the way. Oh. Go. Okay. And then get the back part. And then. If it'd be easier to push it in or yeah okay so just push it on top and then just kind of push it down oh they want you to well no that don't make sense oh no okay that's right okay so push it down to where it's all the way down and then just kind of adjust it if you need to make sure it's flush on both the top and the bottom there we go. <clears throat> Glue it if you want to. Uh, I'm debating. Okay, so F9. So this is just kind of like the frame for a little suitcase. Or whatever it is, so. So just put some little glue tabs going around. I think I'm not trying to use as much glue this time as uh, what I had previously done. Because, like I said, some of the pieces are just being held enough to where they're, I mean, they're not going to go anywhere or anything. So, so I'm not going to worry about it as much. I think it actually tells you to, you know, what's going to be glued and what isn't going to be glued. Too worried about the glue showing inside too much. Just wipe off. Ah, oh, I didn't get another toothpick. Wiped in 
inside up a little bit. Just wipe the sides off. Ah, I'm breaking it. No. Okay. So while that's drying, then we're going to be doing the bottom. Same thing. So you want to make sure the little handle is facing out. Just push that in. Just make sure it's all flush. Make sure. Just use the toothpick just to kind of any excess or whatever. Push it down and it should be flushed really well. It looks like a nice little case or oh, looks like it's a little off right there. Okay. There we go. So I'll let that sit there for a second. So now We got all these little accessories that we're going to be putting in. And these four right here were the same number. They were all together. <coughs> oh, and then we're also going to be using a, a sticker for the back. Which is 16, which is a ton of them. So I'm going to use the my pliers. I'm just going to go in here. somewhere just as long as it's part of the back back part and everything and then I'll be using my pliers for almost everything else as it looks like we're gonna be I could apply the glue to the pieces if it looked like it wasn't gonna glue piece wasn't gonna be able to fit but in here and then the other one just kind of turn it just a little bit I guess you could turn this one too if you wanted to yeah, I'm screwing it up okay kind of offset them so you can kind of see what's going on and then for these other pieces do uh, maybe put them in the front there's one bottle that's just a tad bit bigger than the other so I'm just gonna that one like that. And then put this other one. Just kind of offset them too, just so you can kind of see. And then. Hmm, okay. Let's see, how's that pipe supposed to be? I think the pipe, it can go any different way. You can always just kind of like set it down in there where the, the handle is just sticking out and everything, which is I think this is the way I'm going to do it. So I'll just do a little bit right here. And 
and I'm just if I can grab a hold of it and I'm just gonna push that in there like that and then just let it sit like so just push it all the way to the back just let it hang over the end of it just hang over then the magnifying glass is going to go into the back so I am going to actually glue the back of the magnifying glass just because it'd be easier because I'm not for sure exactly where it's going to go in there so just put a little bit there and I'm just going to throw and then I'm just going to turn this over and Here we go, like so. Okay, so there's your little case. Got your magnifying glass, you got the letter, you got your little tools and whatever that you're gonna be using. And then that is gonna go onto the bench. So I'm going to excuse me, put some glue on the bottom. And then I'm gonna just kinda drop it on it. And you can always kind of tilt it a little bit. You know, don't have to be sitting straight or anything like that. You can just kind of tilt it, you know, like somebody using it and everything. So, so I'm just going to do that for now. And then paper 15, there's another sticker. Like two envelopes, like evidence envelopes. They want you to put on the bench right next to it. Put one. Oops. Gonna put one there. It'll come off the sticker. There we go. Put one there. And then another one. Just kind of <laughs> just kind of put right. Look up. There we go. Just kind of put it right there. They pop up, I'm not worried about it. Okay, so there's your your suitcase and the tools and whatever to investigate and all that, so not too bad. And right now the fun part. We got our little evidence uh, tape stanchions that we're going to be putting in and everything, so... This is going to be fun. So, ah, I can't get back in there. That, that, Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> it won't fit. All right. So what I'll do is I'll throw it on the tip of a toothpick and I'll just kind of put it in there. So 
these. I'm going to put them to where there's a little slit at the very top. You know, put that where it's facing. One of the other poles. Or one of the other holes that you have. Because it's going to be going around. So, so pretty much have them all facing the, the same direction. Kind of, sort of, I guess. So yeah, just have them all facing, the, the holes facing this way in the top as best you can. As best you can. is we're going to be using our keep out sticker but it wants you to fold it in half which is going to be difficult and maybe maybe not we'll see here oh there's a perforated line in it okay that makes it a little easy so there's a perforated line in the sticker so if you just kind of fold it, don't put it together, don't put it together yet, but just kind of fold it. To, so that was actually smart of them to put that perforated line, but you just want to get it to bend a little bit. It's, once you have it all at a kind of a V shape, then just slowly start in the middle and bend it together and then swipe it up and then swipe it down because that perforated line should keep it straight just like that and there you go there's your line perfect so so now what, how it wants you to do this because you're gonna have to glue uh, endpoints is since you got your slits up at the top, we're gonna slide that down the hole and then just put it in each of the slots that's there and try to pull it as tight as possible. Oh shoot, that's gonna be kind of hard to work. Cause I know that I want you to put, they want you to connect it on this side so you don't see uh, where it's connecting and everything. But it's definitely hard to, when you don't have a lot of room. Back here. So, oh, that's bent like that. So you want to <laughs> So it might be better to do it over here, but over here you won't be able to see nothing. But just kind of hold this and pull this tight. And 
then do the same over here, and then do the same over here, and then we'll just kind of see how much extra these are going to carry over, which isn't much. But the thing is, is you got to glue one side and then keep the other one. Put glue in the middle and then just kind of keep them together, but you got to keep them taut. Yeah, keep both taut while you're while you're doing it. So, all right, I want to take a chance here. Keep these together is the issue. Yeah, I'll have to redo that one too. Okay. So I'm just holding it tight and just kind of holding it till the glue kind of sits in. So, and then holding it with the client, the pliers. So, yeah, not too bad. Okay. So, I actually got that lined up pretty good, but again, I'm sure, I mean, it'll be fine if it's not, but. So, just to kind of give it how it looks. You know, a little crime scene and everything. So, I mean, the, the ends don't match or anything. So, but again, you know, I'm sure it's not going to matter one way or the other. So, but still doesn't look too bad, though. So, but that's how it looks for now with the kit and your stanchions and keep, <laughs> excuse me, your stanchions and your keep out tape. And everything so not too shabby so the first thing it wants us to do is update our little blackboard over here with some stickers so and it kind of gives you in the instructions on uh, which ones to put on first and uh, has a little outline and everything so I got somebody bugging me again been padded in the way in the way so you want to put the really big one on first and then the next one to a no no you want to B first To B, which is right here, and you just want to follow the lines how it is. Come here, might be off on that one just a little bit. Now we want to A, because this is going to overlap, so that's why they got to kind of watch which ones you do. And then we're going to do to C, 
like a little wanted posters, I think, or something. Or two C's up here. Yes, I know. In the way. And it's not gonna match exactly, but that's fine. And laying on top of everything. And 2D. I'm gonna need some of those pieces here shortly. And 2D down here at the bottom. Look at me, it isn't gonna do nothing. You're in the way. Okay, so now if I can find the pieces that somebody's laying on, that somebody's laying on. Yes. <laughs> Gotta dig them all out. Oh, and then there's a little uh, frame to put around. Don't be biting me. Uh, to put around uh, everything. So I'll go ahead and uh, put that on there. I will say I'm liking this uh, book nook a little bit more just with all the pieces and they definitely have a lot more uh, spare pieces for each for some things which is nice and it seems to be a little bit more sturdier than some of the other ones and taking the pieces out and everything so and with this it don't really matter which which way you put it on. You just gotta line it up on the outside of the brown. I'm just looking here. There we go. And then I'm just an excess kind of out of the way. Ah, and I'm pushing it. Okay, I don't think I've got my too much, but okay, so I'll let that dry for a little bit. Okay, since so somebody moved finally. So you're going to get your G22. It's the one that's got the little legs on it right here. I'm going to put a little, do kind of like what we did with the front doors. Put these, slide these all the way through and put about two or three different levels. Uh, on them and then once you do that then you're gonna get your second piece and then put that on put that on slide it all the way through make sure that one's all the way through and then gonna get your grate door and then you're gonna put it in the little grooves that are right here uh, may have to pull it out a little if you need to to get it to fit but just keep pushing it in until it's flush Okay, it should look something like that. And then we are going to be putting this, you got your two tabs that are going to be going here and here. So just throw some glue on it. And I may throw some glue a little bit around the, the door frame as well. Just throw a little bit just to keep it there. The 
those tabs don't really go in too far to hold it in or to keep it in or anything so that's why I'll just put some glue in just to, all the way around to make sure it doesn't go anywhere okay so there's your one wall for that and then it looks like with your main piece with the two tabs here and here they just go into the bottom actually I'm just gonna put this down and then just push it down it doesn't make any noise or anything so and then just lines up perfectly which is odd but once we put the top on and everything it'll kind of line up a little bit better but now they want you to put the door all the way down so once you put that door in what you want to do is put some glue put some glue on the wheel and make sure it doesn't glue to the bottom of the sure it doesn't glue to the bottom of the uh, board here the bottom of the board you just want to make sure it glues to the this the, the stick there we go I'm just pushing it in a little bit more and what it does is you see, yeah when you turn the wheel it opens the door <laughs> it's, it's kind of cool and then also on this front here you got this little tab here that uh, if you don't break it, like I almost just did, then uh, should have done this first. And that just goes in, and I think that just gives it extra support. Because of this right here, you got this wall in, so you want this and to kind of give it so the wheel doesn't get hit or anything, so... Shouldn't be too difficult. So I think this is going to be like a light or something. Get the kitty hair off. Get the kitty hair off. These fit on pretty easily. Not too bad. And then for this, we're going to need. One of our stickers, number six. Okay. So I would start the very tip right here. And then work my way around. Oh, it covers it completely. Okay. Yeah, so I definitely would start in the back. Because then it just covers it completely. Nice. And then, for our wall that we just put on, it goes, you hang it in the side, and then it'll just hang down right there and everything. So, then, there's the next. We're gonna be making a fire hydrant. So we got H5. Get this going down. Then we got H9. Just gotta push it down until it's flush. Then push this all the way down, and then just get your circles up. Okay, you may have to put some glue on those because they uh, 
They weren't too tight. On these, so. Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit. I'm going to throw just a little. I just match the holes up with the way the tabs are going. Now you're going to be the tough one to get on there. Oh, yeah, that one. Okay, so there's your little fire hydrant. And now this is going to go right in the front. Yep, yeah, right here. So. So, since it's Right on the front, it's not going to be uh, uh, okay. <laughs> that whole thing just came up. All right, so now we're just going to glue the crap out of it here. Can't believe that just came up. The only good thing is, I got the door frame. Per se, to, as my template. So, know kind of where it needs to go. That was odd. Okay, so next is our little umbrella stand. So, it looks like. Just gonna be gluing front and back on these. So yeah. Well, I definitely hope the uh, the bigger concrete pad that I use don't come out. sure that's flush for now and I may just uh, just glue this one to put on because it's the same color on either side so it don't really matter Hold it by the umbrella and I'm gonna push that down, make sure it's good. Okay. Oops. Okay. So I'm just going to let that sit for a second. Then we'll work on our little lounger chair here. Okay. And then I've got this piece.
man. Let me throw some glue right there in the, just to kind of keep that together. Just this level here. There we go. Okay, so two of the legs are going to be uh, A little higher than the uh, than the other two because those are going to be entered somewhere. So let me just so here's your chair the way it looks. I just glued the bottom a little bit, you know, the sides and everything. So I'm just going to make sure it's straight. So I'm just going to set it aside right now because I don't know. Where that's going to go. So for the. For the umbrellas, it would be at the foot of the steps right here. square outline just like so That's where your that's where your umbrella is going to go is right there. Next up involves uh, some of the books, which I already you know kind of did some of them, put them together, but I kind of saved the bigger ones to show you how to do them, just because it's easier to see what I'm doing and everything. So, and of course, again, these are stickers, so and somebody's awake again. Uh, so it's easy to do, but the uh, these L5s need the 19 stickers because they're bigger. And then the L6s require the 20s, and the L7s require the 21s. So they're just different size books. And some of them are pretty much the same, same stickers for all three. But the easiest way I do is 
Just, just line it up with the very edge of the book on the end. And then once you do that, you just hold it and wrap it around. There you go. And it may extend over just a little bit, so I'm not too worried about it. Again, this is way better than trying to glue them. You need to go. Go. Okay. So... You want to just make sure you don't see any of the brown of the book. Just wrap it around. Piece cake. And it gives you like one extra for each size book. So just, you can pick for the stickers. For the wooden pieces, it actually gives you more uh, spares and stuff. So, but uh, just pick out the ones you want. And wrap that around. There you go. So, there's your three size books, so I'm just going to move these out of the way. And then we'll use those for uh, future builds. Put them in different places and all that other good stuff. Okay, get this out of the way. Okay, so now we're going to be building the desk. C39. So, we're going to put this in here. And I just broke it. Still fit though. <laughs> and then which that'll happen sometimes if you don't have the peg or the peg in there exactly, it'll just take a piece off. So and then you don't want the curved piece on the back. Just line up the holes. Just to get it started. And then just push it in there. Okay, so there's your desk. Okay, so now we're gonna start putting some stuff on it. So you have a little tab that you're gonna just push down into there, and then you get your little phone. There's three pieces that you just put together, and then uh, you just kind of throw that on there. You can. Turn it however you want to get this day. And I would just be careful pushing on this because I kind of pushed on it a little too hard and kind of, I wouldn't say broke, but the one piece isn't, uh, uh, isn't as flex sturdy as what it should be. But okay, so, so now we're going to use our stickers and now we're going to do C paper four. I'm guessing this is the back of the desk. This is the front of the desk. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. It's just the way you're it's having you put stuff is kind of upside down. So, but I wouldn't go for this. I wouldn't put um, anything past the edge just in case. And 16...
same size. So small. One, two, three, four. Okay. So after you get your papers on, then you get six of your L6 books, and then and uh, we're just going to be kind of gluing them on. So right here will be one. So I usually just just put one little dab. It's not going to hurt nothing, and it don't really matter what type of which books go where, it'll show you different ones and everything, but it don't really matter. And we'll just throw another little dab on top. But you're pretty much going to put like three in each. Three in each little spot here. Put uh, like two there, and you can put like one here. It's kind of like that. And then all the other ones would go. All the other ones will go right here. And again, you can arrange them however you want. Again, I would just be careful not sticking it too far back on the edge, just so in case you put it against the wall or anything. Okay, so I'm just going to leave those there right now to dry. There was a couple pieces I forgot. D19. Okay, so for the phone, it's the little rotary that goes on the front here. being held in there pretty good. And there's a little ink pen. It'll go right there. I don't think 
it's going to move at all. And a little magnifying glass that I should have moved that just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so got the book out. So make sure you put the magnifying glass in first before you put your book because it will get in the way. There we go. Okay, so there's your little desk. Everything. So, anything with the tabs, I didn't really glue down. I just glued down the books. Okay, so we got our pieces, all of our pieces out. And, of course, since I'm working, somebody's visiting again. This is the most she's ever visited me while I was working on one. But uh, it looks like the next steps are going to be... Uh, putting a bunch of walls together for uh, maybe an upper floor or something. I'm not for sure. But, um, but we shall see. But I pretty much have everything. I just wanted to get everything because it was just pretty much a bunch of gluing together. So not really anything to put, but you're just kind of making a you know, a shelf a little thicker to be able to put stuff on and everything, so, but, uh, but we'll see as soon as I get somebody out of the way. Okay, so the first step, you're just going to get your two pieces right here that already have things on it, which is nice that you don't have to glue those on or anything, and you're just kind of putting a cover over top and just making it flush all the way around and everything, so... So I'm just going to throw some glue stuff in. If somebody leave me alone. I know. You got in petting this morning already. So you got petting already. I know. I know. Okay, so what you want to do is just make sure everything's lined up on the inside and on the top and bottom. And just make sure it's all flush. And if you want to wait for the glue to, to kind of dry a little uh, before either putting it on its side or anything like that. Yeah. I actually kind of like how they do this because you're just kind of putting layers on to, to make it look like a regular cabinet and everything so so we do this and then putting these in here these aren't too too tight so let me actually uh, put a little bit of glue on here on the edges there because this this one is a little loose so I'm just gonna just put that on there and then you can grab your C15 which I actually like to that they mark the little sides here because this is a side that you're never gonna see because it's gonna be covered and everything so you just throw that in there It's a little tougher to. There we go. Okay, so that's flush. Like I said, you're just building layers. <gasps> that just broke it. Damn it. So that goes to uh, what I was saying before of. Uh, don't push on the top if it's a very thin like this. So I actually broke it. <sighs> but the only good thing is I'm going to be putting this right over top of it. So you're probably not even going to see it. So. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
again, I'll make the mistakes so you don't have to. So do not push on anything that is very thin or whatever, because this may happen. I was just trying to line it up, but I wasn't even thinking about the weight. So do not push on that. But again, I'm not worried about it because this right here is, is going to be glued on that has a little frame that you're going to see. So you're not even probably going to notice. I mean, you're all going to notice because I'm, you know, we're, we're filming it and you watch me do it. So, oh, goodness. But that's okay. If it didn't have a cover to the outside of it, then I have, I don't know what I would be doing. So, there's the one here in the middle. Hmm. Oh, goodness. It scared me too. Okay. So, with this. Yeah, with this, we're just going to make flush with the left side. It's going to stick out. As you see right here, you want to make it flush with this piece down here and flush with this over here. So, I'm going to scoot it over. Make sure it's flush with the bottom. Make sure it's flush with the bottom. So now, now this is uh, kind of cool. Is they we're gonna put like a back to it. We're gonna kind of put this on the back to make it look like, you know that it's enclosed and everything, which is kind of cool. So you just want to make sure your number is on the bottom bottom right down here. And, uh, just put it on the back here, so. I actually would try to uh, glue the pieces that I broke off back on, but they were so small pieces, I don't think, uh, I don't think I could. I think they're just too, uh, they've broken too many small pieces to be even worth it. So, that's why I'm not going to worry about it that too much, but just make sure it's level with the top and the sides. Just kind of give it a good press. Just wipe off excess if you need to. Again, just make sure it's flush with the sides and the top, and then, yeah, I think the second part kind of, just pushing it down on the side just to make sure it's good, yeah, you're not going to notice it too much, but. Okay, so so there's your one piece right there. Like I said, it's got layers, you know, makes it look like a cabinet. You know, it's got some shelves. And we may end up uh, putting some stuff up in here. Not for sure. Got a nice little sunroof now since I broke that off. <laughs> so I'll just put that off to the side for now. Hopefully I won't break anything else. Okay. <laughs> So now, then again, we're just we're just putting layers on. It's just this. I'll be on top of this. I'll be on top of that, and then we're gonna do another back to it and everything. So, and then uh, main thing with this is just just make sure it's all flush, all over. And just make sure it's uh, not sticking out anywhere. And I'm probably overdoing it a little with the glue, but not too worried about it. So just go on top. OK, 
Okay. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect. You can't get it exactly level, but as long as it's close, then uh, that's all they're looking for. So, there you go. Let's get some of this excess glue. Oh, you see here. Okay. So, there's that cabinet. Again, I'm just making some layers. Oh, sorry. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're not done. We're not done with this one. Sorry. Thought we were done. So now it's wanting you to throw some books on, actually on both of these. So let me uh, let that one dry for a little bit. I do this one. So this one, it wants you to have... It tells you to do five books, and it says uh, five of the Bs and Cs, which is your L6 and L7s, which is your uh, medium and small size books. So, and it's pretty much like three medium and two small. So, I'll see if I can get that fixed. Okay, so what happened was on the desk, the books I used should have been a... A books, which is the bigger books, your L5s, and I didn't use those. I used the smaller ones, so I'm going to try to take those off and um, try to see if I can take them off and um, put them on these shelves if I can. So that's why that's why I was just wondering why the numbers were off because it's wanting me to use more books than what I had. So okay. So, let's do this again, so, okay, so three, two, okay, so for this one, <clears throat> I want you to put some books together, and what I'm going to do is just... I don't know how I missed that, but I'll see if I can take them apart. I don't know if I can or not. Put a little glue down, just kind of. Okay, so for these. Okay, these books are somewhat dry, so I am going to just put some glue on the bottom here. right in here place them right on the corner there just kind of press them down get the glue to set okay like that okay so now my one book right here I'm going to Let's see here. Grab it from the end. And on the bottom, I'm going to put some glue on the bottom. And I'm going to put some glue on the very corner. Since I'm going to be leaning it. Like so. That way the glue on the bottom should hold, and then I get that right on the edge, so, okay. So there's that one. Medium and small books, so. And again, it doesn't matter how you put them. Get your kitty hair off. You can place them however you want to place them. So 
sometimes I'll follow the uh, what the guide what the uh, instructions show. Sometimes I don't. It just depends. Actually, I think those were too small. Yeah, they were. That's all right. Not worried. Not worried a bit. Okay. Okay. On the bottom. Two. The bottom, I have what, four? Some on there. That and then So, this is what I did with all the books. Just kind of arranged them a little bit. But again, you can do these however you want. It doesn't really matter or anything, but this is just kind of how the instructions tell you to do it. But, um, but in the end, after you fill these two, you should have one of your very small ones and one of your medium-sized ones and one of your really big ones left after all this with these two and the desk once I fix that. So, so now I'm gonna put that aside. Okay, now we're gonna get back to just gluing. Get back to this. Just putting this on top of this. It's a piece of cake. Oh, that's too much. Try not to. Just like before, just make it level. At least level with the uh, left side. See? Okay, so you're wanting to make it. Yeah, okay. So you want to make it level with the right side so your tabs are sticking out. So this will. Well, this don't make sense. 
It's got to be flush with that. Okay, no, 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 I guess... Okay, so it is behind it. Okay. I was wrong. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so make it flush with the left side. And your tabs should be flush with this. With the right side. Ugh. Trying to figure out what's going on here. But yeah. Because it's like it doesn't line up. You can still see everything behind you. Okay, so now... You're going to grab this piece. And I'm actually probably going to just lay this down here. You're going to grab this piece and push it down over this. Definitely don't need any glue. And it should be kind of a smooth going over. Kind of like the side part of this cabinet, just like that. Because I don't see it going any further down, so. Okay. So I'm just gonna lay it flat like this. Okay, so I got other pieces out. We're ready to kind of put stuff on our on our little floor. We got somebody right here. Okay, so we we'll start with our chair that we had put through before, or put together before. Yeah, I'm not gonna glue it. It's, tabs are gonna, oh, you know what? No. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere, so. Cause I think it's the other things that's holding it up, but. Yeah, it's not gonna go nowhere. Okay, and then the cabinet with the rifle on the top. It's gonna go here in the back. Okay, just make sure that's in all the way. Okay, and then I'm gonna use our desk, and then that's gonna slide in with the edge of your desk going over the little lip right there. And there's no tabs or nothing, so you probably will have to glue that down. Kind of like that. Yep, yeah, okay. So, what I'm going to do. Is I am going to put some glue right here. Right there, and just let it settle. Oh. Keep it there. <laughs> let it set. Dang it! I think I lost some of the glue. Oh, that's not even touching. Oh well, shoot! That wasn't even. That was a waste of time. Then I didn't even see that. There's no glue in the. Okay, so the legs are really the only thing that. Actually, you gotta push down on it. There we go, okay. Okay, so the desk, you may have to push down to where it goes down all the way and look at the bottom to make sure that all the legs are on the, on the ground. I don't know what the heck is going on. So there's a certain order that they want you to do these next steps. So the first one is your little small cabinet that I broke the top off. So it's going to go 
in this very massive slot right here. I have a feeling that's supposed to be like a secret passage that slides away or something. And then the next one that you put in is your other cabinet. They're your little L-shaped. So it'll go into the next hole right here. I'm just making sure it, go, it did go all the way down. Yeah. Okay. And push that all the way over. So it should kind of look like that. And yeah, it's supposed to be a little secret door that opens up, but just push it all the way over. And then you get these two pieces that you just push together, like little, like a little fake wall. And then it goes in the little hole right here. Is it in? Oh, yep. So yeah, so it's supposed to be like a fake wall right there, but somehow you're supposed to get the lever on the back and it slides the slides the wall oh out. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. So okay, so I'm not gluing any of that right now. Okay. So so that's how it's supposed to look. Your little den area and everything, so Okay, so now we're going to do a clock. Okay. Push that off to the side a little bit. Okay, so with the clock, you want your two smaller pieces. You want the, the smaller distance to be in the back and the longer distance to be in the front for both sides. And you want this. And you just want to put... that in there and then do the same for here put that in there and then you get B5 hmm so B5 I think I am going to glue In because it's just kind of sitting there. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Then you get your pendulum. Should fit in like that. Okay. And then I get the next piece right here. It's over the grooves. Just push it. Not all the way down, but where is it supposed to go all the way down? Did I miss a step? I missed a step. I think I will at least maybe glue the uh, this last piece, and I'm just going to do this top part up here, and then maybe a little down here, and maybe just. 
just put it on the top. That way, not to worry about it coming off or nothing. careful handling it put it right on the picture and just kind of line it up to where it covers it all It's not going anywhere, trust me. So I'll let that dry for a second. I miss, oh yeah, yeah, okay. It's down all the way in the back. It's flush. And then your last cabinet that you did will go right here. Uh. Okay. So that should be what it looks like up to this point. lights a little bit and it talks about at the beginning which I didn't go over um, but at the beginning your lights that you get here it comes with a little touch sensor right there and then you have two, three, five lights you have two that are 40 centimeters two that are 30 centimeters and one that is 25 centimeters so at the beginning it talked about go ahead and putting two triple A's in here and then just touching the sensor to see if your lights work or not, which I had already done. Uh, but you can do that at the beginning just to see if they all work or not. And then if they don't, they say you can always contact the company to try to send you a replacement or not. So, but we're definitely going to be working with those. In these next couple steps all right so first thing is get your H13 that looks like tab here and then line this one up right here it should go all the way down it's kind of like your uh, your trim pieces that you're putting on and everything but that also holds the two uh, bookshelves and everything 
and actually I was actually looking uh, the bookshelf where I broke the top that's actually this very bottom piece that slides so you're never gonna see that so so don't tell nobody okay um, okay so after you do that then you get a one get a one and there's some trim decorative that they put on here and you want the smaller end to be over here and it's gonna go in this hole right here and then and then we're gonna build our little detective sign so So you want the smaller, smaller end to be this side, and then you want this piece pop in with the hook on the right, and then the detective sign goes right on the edge here. I thought I broke it. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Okay, so again, not gluing or anything, so and then and then it just goes on to right here and you can definitely hear uh, it going down and then i'll show you here it's kind of what it looks like you got your trim right there and you got this trim along this way right here so a little bit of a gap but i ain't too worried about it but it kind of looks like i can uh, Maybe push that down a little bit more, maybe not. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So. Okay. Okay, so you got your detective sign. Somewhat straight. Okay, so tech design and then H14. So now we're just putting on another little cover here. Just have it go all the way down. That just kind of locks everything in. Okay, now, getting one of the wires, your 30, one of your 30s, middle range here. I don't think it really matters which one, because again, they're both 30, so it'll all lead to the same, same spot, but it'll go back here in the back. Let's see. And you're going to have it go down into here, but you're going to need to bend the wire. So you can just get some pliers, like right, either right here or right here. And just bend it down to make a 45. And then just so it'll slide right into here. Slide right into there, and then these will come over here. And lock in in the groove here, if I can get it to lock in. Get one. And two. Okay. Then I'm just going to putting it over here for now just to hold it together okay and if you want to hold it down with some tape or glue or whatever you can but I mean right now I'm just gonna see how it goes with everything so okay so once you do that 
Okay, now you're going to get your H16, and this is going to go, whoops, like this. Okay, and then the trim actually holds the walls kind of in there too. And then now you need, yeah, you need your forty. So one of your longer ones. Again, I'm not for sure if there's a difference in them or not. They're all kind of tangled together and everything. So, like all the blacks are together, and then all the red wires are together. So, that's why I don't think it really matters. But, kind of the same thing, it's going to go into here. It's going to go into here, and you can push it down to lock it in. But, if you want to. I would say bend it. Yep. So I would bend it right at the light, hold it, and bend it. As best you can. So it's, you know, right like that. And then put it in here and see if you can push it down. As far down as you can go. And then this will come back around like so. I'm just gonna lock it in here as well, just to hold it for now. Okay. Then once you do that, you got your A2, like you did on the other side. Got your design in here, smaller side over here. So. got a tab that will go into here and then this will go down so I'd almost push that tab in just to get it in first and then and then you can work on getting this down like so okay Okay, yep, so just to kind of show uh, the front of it, so it should look like that. Kind of like a little header, a little des you know, design, trim design going across. It's kind of locked in. Put that kind of right there. And then the trim over here like that. And then on the back. That's what it's saying, like you run it this way, have it go all the way down and have it locked in to the hook right here and the same here, make sure it's locked in there and then bring it around and lock it into there. That way it won't go any, won't get crim, uh, crimped up anywhere or anything like that. But, um, but that's the way it should look for now. And that just came like that. it's just hard to get two sets of wires in there and everything so again you can always tape it up or glue on the back here just so it doesn't go anywhere so and then it wanted you to make these two little pieces right here it's just um, two pieces just pushed together they're little like uh, line holders
so okay, so you got your twenty-five, which is what have I got left here? There you are, right there. Okay, so you got your twenty-five. They want to. your second, your lower level. So it's going to get a little crowded here. Lower level, and you're going to put it into right there. Okay, and then your 30, which is here, you're going to... Oh, shoot. Then why did it have me put it into there for? Hang on. Hang on a second. Okay. So it wants you to have the wire go through the top of the steps of the banister. From what it looks like, it's kind of confusing, but have to go through the banister. And then you can put this on. And then, then put that in there. And then the 30 go through the banister and have it go through this right here for now. And I just get it in there to just hold it. Just kind of hold it in place. But now on this piece we have this that we are going to put on the very first holes right here. And they're very loose, so I'm going to glue them in. Figured they would be a little, a little bit more tighter, but one is, one isn't. To redo the wires because they're I can already see they're gonna they're gonna get in the way. And it's both of them. Okay. So what I'm going to do oops. I'll kill the sign. on its side and then I'm going to take this out and I may just glue this in I keep popping it in and out Is 
Okay, I think we're ready now. I yeah, definitely got to make sure the wires aren't crossing from the upstairs to these bottom ones. Because you just want to make sure everything's underneath. And you just got your two tab. tabs right here. We're going to go to the tabs of the wall. picture like that so actually the top part wasn't too hard to get in it's just managing the uh, managing the wires so let me see what else we got here um, the model came with some smaller tape strips and uh, I use those I put like a strip here I put a couple strips here I cut one down and kind of put one over an opening here and then I tape these wires together and everything so just to kind of make it a little bit nicer or neater and everything so we'll see how that goes uh, I may do some more later on once I get the other wire on and everything so but just to kind of show you that I'm just going to get that out of the way for now all right so looks like we're going to be working on a desk or something so we'll see what happens so with this you want to make sure the steps part of the piece is on the top and they made it to where the black is going to be on the outside so the, the brown will be on the inside of the pieces and let's see have this that will go down into that and then 22 I'm not really gluing anything just yet we'll see I may not need it and then some doors on the front here put that in there so that's kind of how to look I'm going to set that down. Now it looks like we're going to be doing like the drawer. So putting this on. too tight. I may actually have to glue those on. So I have a... Uh, we'll see here. Ah, there we go. Okay, maybe not. Okay, and then they want you to glue this, this second gun into the drawer here. Just gonna put a little bit right there. And then you just put it in here however you want to put it in to get it to fit and everything so 
And then with that, then this will go. I put something on wrong. Yep, I did. This piece, make sure the opening is on the top, not the bottom. <laughs> Glad I didn't glue that in. There we go. And put this right here, and then with the tab in the back, pretty much just snap that all together. Now you got a little drawer here that won't come out. So just slides open and everything, so it's kind of cool. Okay, so we'll put that aside for now. Now it looks like we're gonna be working on a, like a typewriter or something, we'll see. So you'll have like five of these and then one with actually color on it that'll go on the end. So you just start uh, just putting these down into the groove. Just start on one end. And then just make sure it's down all the way because, like I said, you're going to be pushing. Uh, you're going to be putting. A bunch of these in here, so. Just want to make sure it's all the way on that end. Okay. And then just put it right the next one right next to it. Push it all the way down. it as straight as possible. That's kind of how it should look. Ah, just trying to get all these kind of lined up. So that's kind of how it should look. And then you want to get this piece. Need to use some pliers to do it. Use some pliers to do it.
going to be using this. Get some stickers. Okay, so we need uh, 12C. And the stickers for these three kind of look the same. Mm. But you want to just put it on the bottom row here. Just make sure it lines up. I should have. Nobody's gonna notice if it's off just by a little bit, but all these stickers, these three stickers are exactly the same. There's a little groove right here that you can uh, slide it down in and just kind of leave it, leave it up a little bit. Yeah, I think it only goes down so far, but you can leave it up or you can uh, you know kind of push it back so you know stick it to the back if you want if it'll stay I don't think it will but having it like that is good enough All right. so now next thing Looks like a little globe or something. I don't know, we'll see. Okay. So put these on. careful pushing this down make sure you don't uh, hold anything that you don't want broken <laughs> I know right. so I broke this because I was pushing on it too hard so uh, my recommendation to get this on is to sand the back part that isn't uh, doesn't have the image on it, the color. I would sand the back of this just a little bit just to make it smaller so this will go over it a little easier so you don't have to push on it as hard because, uh, yeah, and just make sure the hole is more longer sideways to fit the piece that's going on because it is a pain in the butt to get on this back place and everything so I mean I do have it on but they want you to push it you know a little bit further down so if you want to leave it like that I'm sure it will be totally fine. So I just wouldn't push on it too hard because again, there's not much. You're gonna be pushing against this and there's not a lot that you can do. Because I think that's gonna be too wide and I don't wanna press anymore. So this is my last one, I don't have a spare, so I'm just gonna leave it I'm just going to leave it like that where the tip is just kind of there and I mean I'm, I'm good with I'm good with that because I don't want to break it again so just be careful okay okay so now we are going to let's just use this here Okay, 16, we'll go kind of like right there. Sure. 
Okay. And now we're going to do... Kindle. And then we're going to put the globe. I definitely recommend putting the globe. Oh, I guess it ain't going to matter for that. So you put the globe right here. Be careful what you push on. Make sure you push on the base to get it onto the tab. And then your typewriter's got a hole. So you push it down. Like that. And then you have a lamp that will go into here. Great. Okay, so it kind of looks like that, and I need a book. What do I do with it? Actually, putting one of our books on here. This is your uh, smallest book, the leftover. You should have uh, your smallest book left, one of your smallest books left, and then one of your biggest books left. So, this would be your smallest, smallest book. And then it also says to make sure nothing goes past this line here because you're going to be putting it against the wall. So, just making sure the typewriter is straight. There we go. So yeah. So just make sure, and the only thing you really got to worry about is the book. Just making sure that's not up against the, not up against the back part of this right here. So, but that's what it should it look like, right? Yep. So that's what it should look like, and everything. And then next thing, real quick is like an umbrella stand that one and this one and then just connect it here that get glued in so It's up to you on how you want to put them. So I think I still had some glue on the bottom. Oh, no, I didn't. So I think there's some glue in there just to keep them from moving around. Just don't know how I want to put it yet. But. Gotta turn it sideways so you can see. I can't grab this. Okay. Just kind of leave it like that. And then what you're gonna do is bring our main part in. And 
Up at the top, you see two holes, one there. There's a hole there and a hole there, and that's where these are going to be going. Did that just go in? Okay, so I'm going to have to glue that. <laughs> that was just way too easy for that to just be sticking there. because it actually went in a little bit easier and then so there you go it's your, uh, it's your desk oops get you a little bit better view here there we go good try so we got our other pieces out and somebody else at least just sitting here for now see if she starts bugging us <sighs> okay so we're gonna be working on our little chair and everything so the chair pieces are uh, printed on both sides, so. That's on the bottom here. left side should be the one with the tab on the end of it because that's what's going to go into the floor so you just got to make sure that since they're printed on both make sure the the L is on the left and then just press these in and we're going to get uh, yep so get this and make sure the rounded part the little rounded part is in the front If you can get it to there we go. Make sure it's flush with the front. I wouldn't push it all the way back because you're gonna have a couple things covering that. So do that. Let that set for a little bit. And then we're gonna be putting these the little like cushions or armrests on, and you need to be careful because there's two sets. <laughs> A four armrest where where the top of it is thicker than the bottom so for these I think this was D4 the armrest where the curved is on the right the top is thicker where D53 the curve is on the left and the thicker part is on top so you want to make sure you don't get these confused I have them separated just so I don't, but you just want to make sure to, these are confused. So, guys, please, you just want to make sure that you don't have that smaller part on the top because you want to have that toward the bottom and everything. So, so when you do these, again, I have them separated. So you just start in the back. Just put them on. They should just slide right on. I'm not really gluing them. They kind of snap on. Get 
this last one in. There we go. Okay, and then you're gonna get like a little cushion that you're gonna get to lay diagonally on the on the chair here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit bottom, a little bit on the top, and then uh, very carefully put this in here. And just lean it up, lean it up against the chair, and then, and then we're gonna get our last uh, A book, our bigger book, and we're gonna just lean it against the chair here. So I think I'll just. Do the same and just put some, uh, just throw some glue on the bottom. Like this, and then I want to try to just do some in the middle because I don't think it's going to go all the way up. And then just kind of just place it just like that. Okay, so there's your chair. Just like so. And then we're going to set that aside, let that dry. All right, now we're going to do a table. Okay, so for all the steps, it's always highlighting this piece that's got the tab to always be on the left. And it's got to match with the hole on the table. So when you because the table has two holes, one in the middle and then one at the top left, or kind of at the top. So the way they have it is the tab's got to be on the left. So the hole, the way you put it on, needs to be on the upper right from the tab. So if the tab's over here, that hole has to be up here. So when you put it on the table, I'll show you kind of what it looks like. Okay. So you got the tab here, the hole, tab here, hole here. That's where the instructions say that they want you to have it. So tab there, hole there. It's the only way it's got to be. I think just because of the way we're going to be placing stuff and everything, it's, it's the way they want it. Shoot, I forgot that. Okay, so this one's going to be another flower. Arrangement where you got to add like another level to it, which is odd that they did that for all the flowers that they added. This part where you got to add like a second level, like a 3D level to the flower and everything, which I mean, I don't mind, it's actually kind of cool, just adds a little bit more detail and everything. So, okay, so with that, now we got to. Put this down on the table, which I got to glue on because that was very loose. So, I'm trying not to mess with the three D part too much, but okay. So that's on. Okay, I'm just kind of holding it up for now, just so it doesn't tilt back. So now we need, let's set this down for a second, see what it does. Okay, we need paper 14. And this is mostly just to cover the, uh, the tab in the middle so you don't see it. I believe. It's a letter, but here, let me get my. Do we 
tweezers here to So you get your metal teacup and saucer that came with the model. It's the only metal part of the whole thing. And you got a little candle that you're going to have to put on. So you need to find something to put underneath it to uh, under the table to uh, make it level so I'm going to uh, just borrow some wood here see if we can't uh... make it somewhat level and then we're gonna use the chair to help Actually, let me do the teapot first because that'll be the easiest. To... Definitely be harder with the uh Okay, so the same thing as the chair is we're building a little um, cushion seat and you want to get the piece with the legs. Oh, yeah. Kendall. Yeah, you know how to do it. The piece with the legs. I'm going to make sure that these go into these holes that are opposite each other, the diagonal. That's what it's showing. Why? I have no idea, but that's just what it's showing. So. Okay. Put that in, okay. And then, of course, then the other one goes in the other way. Okay, so you got the, you got your legs kind of sticking up. So now we need paper three. I definitely like these stickers. <laughs> definitely a smart idea to do the stickers instead of trying to glue everything down. And then this, you just want to kind of have it sticking over. Kind of like so, like that, and then bend it down. And just kind of bend it down. Just kind of, just kind of stick in there. Okay, so there's that, and then we got our little suitcase. So this is an easy one, just putting a couple sides on either side here. Both sides are exactly the same, so 
just stick it on. Make sure it's level. Flush. I don't know why I always keep saying level. It's not like I'm hanging pictures or anything. And then put the other side on and then just put it down. And then just level it. <laughs> level it. Then just push it together. Make sure, make sure it's flush. And then it should be good after that. And I'm just checking the bottom. Yep. There we go. It's a little suitcase, so I'm going to leave that to dry. Okay. Fun part. Okay, so there was one piece of paper on the, the sticker sheet that said cut out. And they actually did not cut out... Um, which I had already cut it out, but it was right here, and it actually says cut out. And, you know, like most of these, they, they cut out like a little line so you can peel the sticker off of this. Well, both pieces of paper that was in this, they didn't make that line. Because what, you, what you're going to have to do, what they want you to do is make the accordion back and forth, and there's no way you can do that if it's the sticky on the back. So you just cut it out, and then you just had to fold it on yourself there's no perforated line like some of the other models have for books like that so you just kind of have to fold it back and forth yourself but the cover for it is the exact same way where you can't peel it off so i actually cut it out a little closer and then what i did was i cut out a little or got the edge separated it from the two the sticky part in the back side and then I can just cut out a little diagonal out of it so I could tear the back part off because I still want that to be sticky. And I just kind of pre-folded it. Pre-folded it just so it already had that shape. And then, and then all you do is just kind of stick it in. Make sure it's good on one side and then just bring this one around and stick it to the other. Press and hold for a couple seconds, and there you go. Now, this, they kind of want open, kind of right here, but I'll just probably just glue one side, and uh, or I may just glue the middle, and just have it open. over time if it unfolds that's you know that's fine and whatever so but I'll just leave it like that but so that's the only the only piece of paper on the sticker sheet that you do not want to be the sticky side at least the folding paper the the outside cover of it you definitely want that to be sticky okay so now this in place and this is where we're going to be putting some stuff here um yep okay make sure you can see bring it up okay so let me start with the table ah shoot okay can't look at crooked So you definitely have to be, I almost wish they would have just had you install the table and then put everything on top of it because it's going to be hard to, to put it into the hole with not being able to hold anything. So you're going to be putting the table into this hole right here. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. And then you can, I didn't glue it, but you can probably move it back and forth if you need to. Which I actually may do. Just kind of turn it a little bit. 
It all depends on your chair because your chairs. What's well, going to go into this hole right here? That's why you wanted the the tab on this L leg right there. <gasps> ah, you son of a. That's why you don't push on the bottom. <laughs> push on the leg. Don't push on this cushion. <laughs> Push on the leg. Okay. Can't tell. Okay, I think. They almost should have put a another tab over here because now the legs are sitting up or raised up on the right side so i may need to put some glue down on it and then maybe put a weight on top of it to uh so you don't see the uh the gap in between so i'm just gonna throw some uh I'll try to throw some glue under the uh, the chair here. Try is the key word. Put some on the back side here. Put some there. And then I'm going to uh, put some weight on it. <laughs> A little unorthodox, but it works. Okay. Okay, that was a uh, <laughs> little paint container. So, all right. So now you got your table with your two legs, and they go right here. That I'm gonna have to glue in because. It's way too loose. that down all the way and you don't see too much gap in there or whatever and then your suitcase is just uh, just somewhere over here it doesn't really have a, any particular place for it or anything so it's just kind of kind of sitting if off in the back so I'll just put it on the side So I'll just, oops, I'll just put it off on the side here. Yeah, just kind of put it there. So I got the next pieces out and I kind of went ahead and did a, and complete, completed a couple of them, steps, just so uh, I wouldn't have to wait for the glue to dry. So for this one, it was just getting this detective house piece and the little flower secondary part and just to glue it on and then glue this piece on to this frame right here and then on this one it was just pushing these shelves in and then gluing these frames around the windows and when you do them you just got to make sure that the bottom frame is smaller than the upper frame because if it isn't, then the, the windows won't line up because of the shelf. So just make sure the distance on the bottom frame is smaller than the top. And then just put them on and you're good to go. Because that's uh, pretty much all this is. is Just put those on and then we're going to put these onto the bigger model. And I think finish 
putting on the lights and everything. Say, guys, not so loud, please. Okay, so. Okay, so before we put this on, I'm going to put. No, I'll go ahead and put this on. Okay. So, this section right here is what's going to go into this right here. So. Just have to. See how easy or hard this is going to be. I just don't want to push on the sign because <laughs> I didn't have it. Uh... There we go. Okay. I just didn't have it on there too. Uh... Didn't have it on there for a long time, so I just didn't want it to come off or anything. Okay. So, so with it on, that's kind of what it looks like, like that. So now, I'm gonna lean it down on its side, and we're gonna put on one of our uh, one of our lights. So the one that you had here, dangling out the side. When you pull it forward, there's a little hook on this little sign that you put underneath the floor. So just go ahead and put the, the wires inside of that, and then go ahead and bend it down like we've done some of the previous ones. And then you put together this hook that has a straight tab on it. The one we had done previously had like an angled tab. So this one needs to be straight. And then when you do that, then go ahead and hook it in. Hook the light in and then we're gonna try, oh, it's not a little room in here. That's why I was almost tempted to put this on before I uh, put it in. But, and then I'm gonna rotate it. Some pliers. And rotate it so it's straight up and down, there we go. And then you can pull the wire straight or totter if you wanted to. So that's how you get that light in. Okay. Oh man, that thing is not staying worth nothing. Okay. Get the bottom one on now for the top all we're doing is I want to rotate this on the side all we're doing so now get this in and now we're gonna be putting this folding it over and gonna be putting this onto here and this right there just pushing that down and then getting this into here and pushing that down. Okay, and it's just like so. Is there a gap? Uh, also helps to make sure you have the wires in the little crevice here. I had the black one, but I didn't have the white, the red one. So you also got to make sure that the wires are in the, the little crevice right here, so they don't get smushed, and that the floors go together evenly. So I'm trying to hold this, so you can see. So that's how that looks with the wall in and everything. Okay, so now. Uh, I know it's a lot, so 
trust me, it's going to get worse. So pretty much all that tape I had on the back for the wires, I had to take it all off because I'm going to be running two more wires up the same side and everything. But, <sighs> okay. So the first one, so you're going to need to bend the wires again. Gonna be bending these again. Okay, and we're gonna be using the other holder with the angle, the angle part. So that'll be going into that, and then this is gonna go into the upper part up here. Okay, so now. The way they want you to run it is going up the side here in the little crevice where all the other wires are. And then they want you to, do I have enough room to go all the way down? I don't want to say if you have enough room just to push it all the way down because they want you to go into this little crevice right here because you're going to be throwing in another one into here uh, but maybe there's not going to be enough room to to do both maybe that's why they do it that way okay Alright, I guess I'll do what the instructions say. Okay, so you put that in there, and put the second one in, and then kind of push them in to make it flush. They're not too tight, but at least straight. <laughs> I just pulled them out. <laughs> That's funny. Because I don't want to make this too tight, but I don't want it to be too loose either. Okay. Get this in the railing here. Okay. And if it's a little excess, I'm, I'm fine with that. Because you got a ton of wire and everything, so you're going to have a ceiling that's going to be covering this anyway, so. Okay, so now, do the exact same thing for your touchpad. Get everything in the... And then you're going to run it. So I'm going to run it up here first. So this is going to go out to here. And then it's going to get hooked under here. And then I bet you it's probably going to get placed like right here on the front somewhere. So I'm going to leave a little bit of room for now. this up and put it underneath if I can there we go and then okay you to uh, use some of that tape that comes with it to cover these two areas right here 
So we got our next pieces out, but I just wanted to show you what I did with the wiring. So the actual top piece is where the touchpad is going to be going into. So I'm, I put the top piece on and I measured this to see exactly where it was going to go. And I left that much, that much room for the wire to get to. And then the rest of it, I, I just ran it down. And again, like I showed you before, I put the two pieces of tape there. But along this side, I put two pieces of tape here and here to hold all this in. And then for these two holes right here, instead of putting tape, I actually put some glue to fill the holes right here to try to keep it in, and which I think actually is working pretty good. And then the rest of it, I just kind of curled and threw under the stairs right here because this the battery pack is either going to go like this or it's going to go long ways in. I don't really think it matters which way it goes in, uh, but the two sets of wires that are bundled, those I put into the little groove right here just so that could be stashed underneath. So I think this actually is gonna work. I just gotta figure out the battery box part and everything, but that's kind of what I did to keep the wires kind of where they're at and everything. So, but I just kind of wanted to show you that since we talked about it before. Okay. So got our next pieces out. I think it's going to be like a clothes hanger or a clothes, uh, coat rack and everything. So six. So this is going to go up in here. And this is going to go up in here. And then This isn't really too tight on here yet, but I'm going to kind of wait to see what happens to it before I glue it on. Okay, and then you're getting this piece which has the little accordions on either side that you're going to wrap around. So. Did I do the wrong side? No, that's all right. That isn't gonna fit. Oh, I got you. So that goes on the underneath it, but you gotta kind of get it to lock in here. Without damaging anything. And you got your two holes down here. That's what's holding it. That's kind of. You gotta line up. To get the holes in as well. So it's kind of like a two-fold piece. Getting this top part on and then getting this bottom pieces in. There we go. So just push them in all the way. And then you're going to curl these around and put them around the ends. And then you're going to... Oh, that don't make sense. Because these don't lock in or anything. And if I put this on top, then... It'll just be sitting there. Figured they would have uh, 
put those on there a little bit better because they're just going to curl like that and then you just put this on top of here and then these are still kind of stuck there so they're not really I mean they're kind of being held but not really kind of don't like that so I'm probably going to have to glue that yeah I'm going to have to glue that so okay I don't know if it was supposed to be tighter or not but it's not tight so I'm gonna have to hold it for uh, for a little bit and I'm gonna glue right inside of here and then right up above it because that's where it's gonna go and do the same for over here Push that in, and then push this in, and push them forward, and then we're just going to sit here and hold. Okay. So we're just going to push that into there, and then push these in at the bottom. Okay, that glue's holding pretty good. Okay, so there's your bottom part. Yep, okay, so, so yeah, you'll have to glue these side pieces in because they just weren't going to stay for nothing. So, okay. So now, for the upper part, we've got B. Okay, and then we got these B20 pieces that are going to go. Right into here. Just kind of have to push them down as best you can until they get all the way down. Again, you can always use some pliers if you need to. Okay. And then put the second one on. Gap there because it looks like everything's <laughs> everything wasn't straight. Hang on, let me see. Actually, you probably should have had it where it's all the way up at the top. Sure yet, but just make sure there's some space because that's in all the way up at there. That's all the way up there. And then we're putting this in right here. Okay. 
Okay. So it should be somewhat straight like that. And then we're going to get paper 13. Hopefully this isn't too much, but we'll see. Just go right up to the edge. something to push in the, the sticker so it holds. Mm. To get it going. Just stretch it as far as you can. Use this to kind of press. Use something to press on it. Make sure it's done all the way. And even with the stickers, if you want to use glue, so you know it won't uh, come undone. Look at that, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. So, just so you know it won't come undone. Then, uh, you know, you can do that as well. Okay, so there's that, and then we have our B16s here that are going to go Okay, got your hooks. I mean, I kind of probably could have glued them in, but I don't think they're going to come out. <laughs> I don't think they're going to come out or anything. <sighs> okay, got the hooks. Got that? Okay, so now, <sighs> got the mirror. Okay, so I'm not going to shine it above so it'll blind you guys, but so the, the framework for the mirror is, for mine, was just a hair too big on the sides and the top and the bottom. I put it like right on top of it and I was trying to get it to, to push it in and it just, I mean, just barely wasn't fitting. So I went in with the uh, the sanding board that they gave you and I went in and sanded the, all the, uh, the inside all the way around all four sides. I just went through and just sanded a little bit going around all the four sides and then I just put the mirror just almost perfectly right on top of it and then just pushed it in to where it would fit inside because it looks like it fits I mean it fits perfectly inside there not like overlaying or anything like that to, to get it to to fit and everything so um, and I just got it flush with this back here and that's all I did to get that in so because um, I figured if they wanted the mirror to overlay the hole it would have been bigger than the hole but it wasn't it was almost it was almost the exact same size. I just needed to sand the inside of the uh, pieces, just inside of the frame, just a little bit, just to get it to fit. So, and then, and I'm gonna try not to push this. Uh, and then we're just gonna glue it right here. But I'm gonna try not to uh, shine it straight up to blind you guys or anything. And then 
and just line it up with the the lines that are showing. Okay. Again, hopefully that's not shining into you or nothing. But just putting it on there, lining it up with the lines going all the way around. Looks pretty good. And now Now it wants you to uh, hang some stuff off the hooks. So just kind of hang that there, which I may glue on. I mean, I don't think it'll fall off, but just in case if I happen to uh, tilt the book nook a certain direction, I definitely don't want it to. fall out or anything like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it there and then they want you to put the cane on this as well so so yeah so I'm just gonna do that on this one too don't want any extra pieces falling out or anything so I'm just gonna put that in there and let it dry well, I've got it just kind of hanging here make sure they're straight it's like your pocket watch is what kind of think what that is in your cane just let that dry for a little bit and then we got some pieces we're gonna put on the seat right here straight up and then what we're gonna be doing is putting a hat a magnifying glass and a pipe on here so I'm gonna just sit it up for now and then I'm gonna glue everything on and then I'll come back and show you uh, what I did everything's so straight so the hat just locks in with the tab I just put the pipe and the magnifying glass straight up like that just so you can see everything so I'm just gonna put that off to the side right now till it gets okay so now we got put this on Make sure the tabs are on the top. And now, now we're going to be doing the dartboard, which is fun. So, this in. I don't want to break nothing. So, but you're not going to see too much with it. So, but you want to make sure the colors are facing to the left of the darts because I think that's where it's going to be seen.
Okay, I may just leave the may just leave the dart as it is. It's it's in there. It's not gonna it's not gonna come out or nothing. So yeah, there we go. I think I got it in there. Okay. So now somebody woke up from her nap. Mm-hmm. So now I'm just going to put the dartboard down here. Just make sure it lines up. And... Okay. There we go. On the instructions. I can't see. Okay, so and then the last thing we'll do while that dries is a little light post. And then... It's just gonna... it goes on top. Okay, like that, and then this just kind of goes down. Here, just make sure it's flat, like so, and then we're gonna be putting those on one of the walls. So I know. Okay, so we got our wall. Okay, our J wall here. So we're going to be putting this up here. Everything is just gonna fit on the back. Right here. Yeah, I'm blowing that down. So, so I'm just gonna just gonna put some glue for the rack. Make sure it's straight. and just like all the other ones just actually you can push it almost right up against that and then just find your lines and you should be good to go okay so I'm gonna let that dry for a couple seconds okay so now I'm going to lay this on its side 
And then hopefully these pieces don't fall off. <laughs> well, you know what? Oh, I want to push them down. Okay. those in. The wires are out of the way. Okay. Boy, that couldn't have worked any better. I didn't even think about the uh, coat rack going right on top of the floor. Then it fell off again. Okay. So that's what kind of what it looks like with the new wall on there top and the bottom and everything so okay guys so it looks like I missed a couple steps on a couple pieces that I just completely walked over did not even see those at all so one of these is little this little baseboard that goes onto this back wall down here, down at the very bottom with the windows and everything. I had completely missed it. But luckily, this is easy fix. I can just push it all the way down and down. And I just have to just kind of push it down and everything because you're really not going to see it or anything except for right there but just forgot to do that and then I forgot to make a second lantern when I did this one I was supposed to do two of them I only did one so but that was an easy fix as well because they it's just going to get it hooked to the the pole here on the inside <laughs> So I was just kind of going through looking at that and I saw that I completely missed those steps. That's what happens when you get down to the very end and you see some extra pieces that aren't supposed to be extras. And then you're like, okay, what did I miss? So that's uh, what I wanted to do to get back. I had to go back and see where I missed. Okay, so now we're getting to the top part of the book nook. So I went ahead and did this so I wouldn't have to wait on the glue. And everything so you want to get the back piece or the top piece and if you look it has a little green rectangle with a circle and if you flip it over it says touch to shine so that's the outside that you're going to be using so the ends the other side has got the green square with the circle this is where you want to put your other black square that's going to go over top of the timepiece and you want to make sure that the black part is facing up. So you can see you know, the black on the black. And actually on this piece it says PVC on it. Which means the clear piece, PVC, is what's going to go on top of it. So once you get the black piece, just glue. I just put glue on the corners. Stuck it down and just lined it up. Make sure it was even all the way around. And then I got the PVC. I got some gloves on so I wouldn't get fingerprints. Put some glue as you can see just some into the corner and then just lined it up it fit perfectly with the the other square piece and then just let it dry like that so uh, that's all you do for that so it's actually not not too hard everything and then you flip it over it you know it looks like that and you get the you get the clear going through so okay so now this is going to be the interesting part so now we are going to glue, or not glue, but uh, try to put this on right here. Doing it the correct way. <laughs> Doing it the correct way, it fits. So you put the wires in on the side where it opposite of where that little circle is right there. And once you have them in there, you put them into the groove 
and they actually fit. So I'm just throwing them back underneath here. Okay. your top that's what kind of looks like underneath with the wires so I actually measured correctly it wasn't going crazy or whatever so okay okay so now we're getting the back part getting the back part And I already glued the picture frames around the pictures just to save a little bit of time. So now, got G9. Just gonna go right here. G9 for that. And the piece that's here, you want to go ahead and take out, because it wasn't it wasn't going to be able to stay or anything. So now, you want to put your G8 in. Go ahead and put it on. Make sure it lines up with the holes, and then you have L7. Oh, okay, gotcha. Into the second hole here to hold it, and then it should lock into the square right here. Not too tight or anything, so I should. Just gotta line it up. Okay. Okay. Because you gotta do it this way or this piece won't fit through if you try to. Hold it through and everything, so. Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay, and then just push it all the way tight. And then, then you just turn it up to open it and close it. Okay, then once you do that, So make sure that is over, the hole goes over this right here. A little secret entrance. And 
just work your way up. All right. Oh. Why isn't that? where you're putting on your dust cover. Oh, sorry. Not yet. Now we got the front and you want to make sure that the pointy end in the cover in that corner is down at the bottom. So You can put your dust cover on since you got the front on because the front is what's going to hold the dust cover. And you got to peel. You want to use gloves to make sure that you don't get any fingerprints on it or just hold it from the side like I'm doing right here. You just got to work an edge until you get it clear. And then, and then just slide it down the front. Until it's flush. Why is that not? There we go. Okay. So, you got your little dust cover on now. Everything. Okay. So now here comes the moment of truth. Uh, will the touch whew, touching up here turn the lights on which I'm going to turn this one off just to see and look at that <laughs> got all the lights working and everything and I see all the kitty here nice okay so I'm going to do just touch it off the touch Touch, touch. <laughs> so I'm going to do a final review and everything in the next video or next section, whatever. So I'm just going to clean some stuff up and we'll go over everything. Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is my final review of our Rose Detective Agency book nook. And somebody else wants to uh, be in the shot as well. Mm hmm yes okay so uh, I actually enjoyed this one it definitely had a lot of pieces to it uh, 
but I think it actually uh, added to all the detail that's inside of it and everything. So, um, and this was one of the first ones that actually had a lot of uh, extra pieces for a lot of the small pieces um, that you needed and everything. So, um, so I definitely appreciated that. So, uh, but first we'll go ahead and just kind of go around the outside. So that's what the one side looks like. There's the back. Here's your door for your uh, battery pack if you need to get in there to change batteries. Here's a little escape route, hidden uh, bookcase that, that'll move over and I'll show that once we get back to the front. There's the other side of it. And then the top just has like a little clock nothing too special but when you have the lights on you can kind of see down into it and everything so and then of course is the inside of it so you got your little touch sensor and then take a look inside now so this is the first one that i actually put together that has a dust cover in the front so uh, i can't get into a lot of the details is, is what I normally could, but I'll try my best. So, as you look in, this is the top level. You got your, uh, your, you know, police board, typewriter. You got a little bookcase there in the back, the clock, your chair, and your desk. It's got all kinds of stuff on it. And then, uh, you got a little dartboard <laughs> back there mirror with some stuff on it and everything and then going back to the back there's that secret compartment that opens up to uh, slide it open and everything so that's kind of cool <clears throat> and now working down to the bottom which has kitty hair <laughs> so you got your crime scene your police tape all the little Items you may need to research the case. I get your your bench with your tools. And that's just another little door and everything. And then, uh, actually, actually forgot. I don't think I can get to it. No, there's a another little lever on the bottom that uh, you can use to open the door, <laughs> open and close the door. And the only thing that's past that is just the stairway going up and then just like a little side table you can see through the window and everything. So I thought that was kind of neat that they included that option to uh, open the door and everything. But, um, you know, uh, and you got all the brickwork of all the walls and everything. But, um, but yeah, I mean, and all the lights I think are positioned in a you know, good spots all, all around so you can see it all. I think the, uh, the, uh, the dust cover, uh, I think will do good with keeping, you know, all the dust out and everything and, uh, works really well. I don't know about any past book nooks that didn't have dust covers. I don't know if you'd be able to buy one to slide it down because they actually made a little slot for it to go down into. So, um, I'd have to do more research on that to see if that's even a possibility or not and everything. But, um, but if you can get one with a dust cover, then, uh, I think it'll definitely be w well worth it, you know, on, uh, keeping everything clean and stuff. So, but it works really well. So I, I don't see a problem with it and everything. So, and you know, if you need to get in there to replace stuff, then you can just push it up to, you know, get in there and all that. So, but but I uh, definitely like this uh, Rose Detective Agency book nook, everything. So uh, it definitely was a fun build and, uh, you know, very enjoyable and everything. So, uh, but as always, uh, if you like my videos, please like, share, subscribe, leave comments, uh, hit the subscribe, I'll get back to you. And uh, I appreciate everybody watching and we'll see you next episode.